Alright, what's up everyone, it's me Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase, which is the Simple Nuclear Reactors mod. Now I know I've done a Nuclear Reactors mod before, this is a completely different beast, in fact it's way simpler. As you can see I've got these little generators in front of me, they look like generators, but they're actually nuclear reactors. So this is what a generator normally looks like, and you compare it to a nuclear reactor, it's just got a little nuclear sign on it, so not, not too big of a change. In fact, barely anything at all. So what I've gone ahead and set up are a few test grounds so I can show you how much power it generates in reference to what I'm trying to power. And as you can see, all of these are connected to the main line that I've set out over here. So we've got, first of all, starting with standing lamps, then we've got sun lamps, then we've got improvised turrets, and then more improvised turrets, but I've got four of them. <sighs> okay, so from what I've heard, let's go ahead and spawn some uranium. Just to kind of clear things up. Do that. Okay. Now, what I've heard is that and 30 uranium is enough to make these things last for four months. So, we're going to test that out. So, he's going to go refuel the nuclear reactor. But if true, that would be a massive time. Because the thing about these nuclear reactors... Alright, let's take a look. The thing about these nuclear reactors is that they're incredibly simple. All they need to do is just take a bit of uranium to power. But the thing is, uranium is something that you might not find on a map at all. In fact, it's very rare that you get them in, uh... Well, I don't even know if I got one this map. Sometimes you'll spawn with Ancient Danger, and that will have uranium in it. Otherwise, you'll have to buy it, so it's very, very rare. It's not as expensive as it is rare, but it's very rare. Um, other than that, it's not really used, except for ship stuff. So, even here, nope, never mind. Alright, never mind. My bad. It's for, I think it's for the, um, ship stuff, as in the crypto sleep. Yeah, okay, the crypto sleep casket. Right, that's what I was thinking about. So it's just meant for ship stuff, basically, uh, which is just kind of weird because you can build walls and stuff out of it, but that's really impractical because it uses so much. Anyways, he's gonna refill it. Let's take a look at how long it lasts. One season, four days, so three months and a week, pretty much. Which is just, that is a very long time for 30 uranium. Definitely, definitely good. I think that's the sweet spot of time. In that one piece of uranium lasts a decently long time. Just to give you an idea, we'll use the debug. 1.6 hours. Okay, so 0 0.1 is 1.6 hours, which is pretty cool. So 1 out of 30 is 16 hours. So for every one uranium, you can get 16 hours of power, and that's at 2,500. As you can see, it's powered one of the lights so far. So yeah, let's let it go. You can see it'll drop. So 2,500 is what they put out, which is really awesome. Okay, so we've gone ahead and fueled all of them. We're just going to time skip so that it just powers stuff until they get to 25. Okay, so now you can get a rough idea of how much they give out. It's enough to power quite a few lamps. Um, which is the standing ones. Sun lamps, they can only power one. <laughs> this one's the lucky one, I don't know why, but yeah. Path of least resistance went here instead of over there. Um, one of them can power quite a few turrets, it's decent. And four of them can obviously power a lot more. In fact, fuel, four generators will be more power than most colonies will use, which is about two and a half geothermal generators. So that's pretty decent. Besides that, there's nothing like cooling rods or, or any of that kind of maintaining aspect like there was in the last one I've done, which was the Rimushima mod. Nope, this is just put uranium in, generate power. There's no nuclear fuel, there's no nuclear waste. Uh, but before I go, I want to test if there's any temperature rays when you put the uh, reactor in a box. So I'm going to go ahead and do this really padded. Obviously, we need doors to get in. I'm going to go ahead and put, okay, so I've got the furnace and the quantum cooler in here just to kind of test out there. I want to see how tough these reactors are. Okay, so we're going to put that down. We have enough uranium, I think. Yeah, we do. Okay. Someone going to power it on? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Cool. She's going to put it in. <laughs> Not sexually. And we can close that and see if there's any difference. As you can see, there is a difference, actually. It's, it's getting hot inside there. It's peaking at 40-ish? Is it going to get hotter? 41, is 20 degrees hotter than it is outside. I want to compare that to a normal generator. Cool. I just want to make sure they're the same, just to get a kind of equal test. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Refuel. Please don't tell me they've gone to sleep. God damn it! Okay, cool. Now we're gonna let them both chill, see if there's any difference in heat generation. I don't believe there will be. But if there is, that'll be a nice pleasant surprise. Okay, so so far the nuclear reactor is a bit cooler actually. It's a bit cooler. It's 34, 33 degrees inside. That's 40 degrees inside here. But the nuclear reactor did get up to 41. So I'm wondering if it's just a time thing. So we're going to let them chill for a bit. While we do that, let's test out how tough they are with the furnace mod burning a hole inside them. So we got the furnace mod here. Go ahead and, go ahead and do that. And then cut this off so that they take power. Right, I absolutely forgot about this. Okay, cool. There we go. Furnace is on. Let's put the power generation inside your nuclear reactor. Let's see. Okay, it's burning the cables. Damn it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this instead. Let's take a look. Yeah, nuclear reactors is on fire. Nuclear reactors on fire, dude. So it does have a temperature. <laughs> Can't go higher than 2000. Uh, that's pretty cool. Whoa, look at that. Cool. That is quite a bit of stuff. Which makes sense. Okay, let's take a look at the temperatures. Okay, so a nuclear reactor is a little bit colder than a fuel generator. So if you put this inside, it's a little bit better for you than the fuel generator, which I like, actually. So if we go into the details of this, it costs 1,500 steel, which is why there's so much slag there, 30 components, and 200 plus steel, which in the grand scheme of things, for 2,500 watts, that is pretty cheap. That is pretty decently cheap. So that's nice. Anyways, guys, that's what today's mod uh, showcased. I've been asked to do a Q&A for my 900 sub special. I didn't really have a 900 sub special. I kind of... I kind of hit 800 and I was like crazy and now suddenly we're like almost at 900, like shit's insane. But if you have any questions for me, please ask them. I don't mind. You can ask anything. Really, feel free. I'll do a 900 sub special even though I think like five people will want to watch something like that. But yeah, go ahead and ask me any questions. I don't mind. Put them in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the video. Stuff like that if you'll ever use it. I think this is awesome. I'll be honest, I think this is really cool. Very simple nuclear mod. The other one is very intense and it gets screwed up during raids. It has so many bits and pieces that one raid can just wreck the whole system. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to ask questions. I will be doing a 900 sub special for when I hit that, so hopefully I do the special. Hopefully I hit that as in that's what I mean. Anyways, bye bye guys. I love you so much. See you all around.